Thank you so much. Thank you. It's an honor to be here to accept the first ever Gift of Life Impact Award. Um, I was first introduced to um, Adam's story by my best friend Allison, whose son was in the same class as their boy. And once I heard his story, I just knew that I wanted to do something. And for me, I mean, a simple tweet or something that I can put up, knowing that that would change someone's life, that's the easiest thing that I can possibly do. I mean, I would, I would do it a million times over. Um, but I was just so overwhelmed and inspired by over 10,000 people that joined the registry. And I joined myself because my cousin Cece, who's battled cancer for 18 years, needed, um, kind of had a similar problem, Armenian descent and not a, a big um, list of candidates for her. So me and my family, we, we joined the registry and you never know when someone close to you can really need it and you never know when you, know, you can just save someone's life. It's really um, such a simple thing to do just to swab and to be able to help someone in need, someone that you know, a family member, someone that you don't know. Um, we do have one more transplant recipient who is here tonight um, to meet his donor. So please welcome Tony to the stage. give a little background on Tony. Tony was diagnosed with acute leukemia in 2017. This was particularly devastating for his family because six years earlier, Tony's 12-year-old son, Hunter, lost his life to leukemia. Tony needed a stem cell transplant and a match was quickly found on the Gift of Life registry. He recalls the surreal moment when the cooler of stem cells arrived at the hospital in Philadelphia knowing that this small package could be the answers to his prayers. Fortunately, the transplant was a success. Tony, your donor is a 30-year-old who lives in Queens, New York, where he works as a fiscal officer for the borough president, and he's very excited to meet you. Um, so Tony, your donor originally joined the registry to help Adam, but um, is very grateful to have been in the right place at the right time for you. So Tony, it's my honor to introduce you to your life-saving donor, Alan. of a public speaker, uh, but um, ever since the donation, I've been uh, looking forward to meeting you. I'm just uh, happy to finally be able to say hi. Um, it's interesting because I didn't, I joined the Gift of Life Registry, just it seemed like random happenstance and just turning a corner can change a life. Um, Oh, man, I'm going off script, sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, I just want to say thank you to all the volunteers for in the Hope for Adam campaign that came and swabbed at the uh, fundraiser I was at and uh, to the doctors and nurses that uh, helped facilitate the transplant. Uh, uh, to uh, my mother who's here and it's her birthday tonight and uh, came with me to the transplant. Hi, Ma. Uh, Gift of Life just does such amazing work, and it's, it, I'm so happy to have been able to be part of this, and uh, I mean, as I said before, every $60 is a swap kit, and the other costs obviously can range much higher, and every dollar you give changes lives and saves lives, and 
that's the most important thing. So thank you very much and good night. All right, thank you. Um, thank you for being here, everyone. I appreciate it. Um, obviously, I don't know how words can describe how I feel um, for Alan uh, to express my gratitude. I don't know how I ever will. Um, thank you um, from my entire family. Um, my, my children get to, uh, get to see me be a part of their lives for... for uh, hopefully a long time. Um, it's really an overwhelming experience. Um, to me, I was very anxious, very anxious, uh, and I'm finally glad that we did. Um, and I hope we um, remain connected for many years, I really do. Um, so thank you from the bottom of my heart and everybody in here. Um, anybody, anybody in here that is um, connected to the gift of life, um, thank you so much. Um, it, cancer touches us in so many different ways, and obviously, as you heard, my journey began six years ago, and uh, it didn't turn out <laughs> the way I wanted it to, but my son is my hero, and you are right next to him now, certainly, absolutely. Um, I come from Pennsylvania, uh, first time in Los Angeles, and um, I said to my wife, um, oh, maybe we'll see some stars. Um, <laughs> but I say this from the bottom of my heart that the only stars I needed to see were right here, 200 of you in one spot. Um, I continue, as I get better here, um, I'm going to, um, put a lot more effort in the gift of life. I spoke to my son, he was a senior in high school the other day, and um, the senior swab program for the gift of life I saw online, and I, um, I wanna get him to do that for a senior project, if you will, and not just him, but I'm gonna try in my entire area to, to really put effort into it. Um, it's amazing the difference everybody can have, you know, just a simple swab, as you've heard here earlier. Um, absolutely incredible. But thank you to everybody. Thank you to the donors. Um, without you, you know, the, the program wouldn't thrive. Um, but thank you. I, I really do. I really do appreciate it. Thank you.